What's happening, y'all? I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. I'm continuing with the story of John Grisham, author, novelist, lawyer, former representative. This is part two, so let's get right down to it. I'm not going to waste any time. When I last left off, I was talking about uh, Grisham dealing with, uh, I'm not going to review all this, but I talked about his, uh, his, uh, career, his early life, his career. I talked about his humble beginnings, and now I'm going to talk about his personal life for a few moments. I'm not going to go into too much of it, but just the surface aspect of it. Grisham married uh, Renee Jones on the 8th of May of 1981, and the couple had two children. Their family split their time among their home in Charlottesville, Virginia, a home in Destin, Florida, and a condominium in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Their former and longtime Victorian home on a farmhouse outside of Oxford, Mississippi, was given to Ole Miss after 2011. Grisham is a member of the University Baptist Church in Charlottesville, Virginia, itself a uh, con constituent of the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship. Grisham opposes a literalist understanding of the Bible and endorses the American separation of church and state. Grisham has a lifelong passion for baseball, demonstrated partly by his support of little league activities in both uh, Oxford, Mississippi, and in Charlottesville. In 1996, Grisham built a $3.8 million youth baseball complex. Kudos, Grisham. Thank you for doing that for the youth and I, hopefully it's going to help them to become a better human being. In A Painted House, a novel with strong autobiographical elements, the protagonist, a seven-year-old farmer boy, manifests a strong wish to become a baseball player. He remains a fan of Mississippi State University's baseball team and wrote about his ties to the university and the left field lounge in the introduction to the book. Doobie Novel Field, a celebration of MSU baseball. Since moving to the Charlottesville area, Grisham has become a supporter of Virginia Cavaliers athletics and is regularly seen sitting courtside at basketball games. Grisham also contributed to a $1.2 million donation to the Cavalier baseball team in Charlottesville, Virginia, which was used in the 2002 renovation of Devonport Field. His son, Ty, played college baseball for the University of Virginia. Grisham is a member of the board of directors of the Innocence Project, which campaigns to free and exonerate unjustly convicted people on the basis of DNA evidence. The Innocent Project contends that wrongful convictions are not isolated or rare events, but instead of arise from systemic defects. Grisham has testified before Congress on the bait on behalf of the Innocence Project. Grisham has appeared on Dateline, NBC, Bill Moyer's Journal on PBS, and other programs. He wrote for the New York Times in 2013 about an unjustly held prisoner at Guantanamo. Grisham opposes capital punishment, a position very strongly manifested in the plot of the confession. He believes that prison rates in the United States are excessive and the judicial system is, look, is locking up far too many people. Citing examples, including black teenagers on minor drug charges to those who have viewed child porn online. He controversially added that he believed that all viewers of child pornography are necessarily pedophiles. After hearing from numerous people against this position, he later recanted this statement in a Facebook post. He went on to clarify that he was defending a former friend from law school who was caught in a sting thinking he was looking at adult porn. But it was when in reality, 16 and 17 year old minors and went on to add, I have no sympathy for real pedophiles. God, please lock these people up. Anyone who harms a child for profit or pleasure should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. The Mississippi State University's Library's Manuscript Division maintains the John Grisham Room, an archive containing materials generated 
during the author's tenure as Mississippi State Representative and relating to his writings. In 2012, the Law Library at the University of Mississippi School of Law was renamed in his honor. It had been named for more than a decade after the late Senator James Eastwood. In 2015, Grisham, along with about 60 others, signed a letter published in the Clarion Ledger urging that an inset with the flag of Mississippi containing a Confederate flag be removed. He co-authored the letter with author Greg Lies. The pair contacted various public figures from Mississippi for support. Let's talk about the honors and awards that John Grisham has received. He received the 1993 Golden Plate Award for, of the American Academy of Achievement, 2005 Peggy V. Helmerich Distinguished Author Award, 2007 Galaxy versus Lifetime Achievement Award, 2009 Library of Congress Creative Achievement Award for Fiction, 2011 the inaugural Harper Lee Prize for Legal Fiction for the Confession, 2014, the Harper Lee Prize for Legal Fiction for Sycamine Row. And now let me give you a complete listing of works by John Grisham. A Time to Kill, published 1989. Sycamore Row, published 2013. A Time for Mercy, published 2020. Sparring Partners, published 2023. Witness to a Trial, published 2016, a short story. The Whistler, published in 2016. The Judge's List, 2021. And these are also uh, the standalones that uh, Christian has written and published. The Firm, 1991. The Pelican Brief, 1992. The Client, 1993. The Chamber, 1994. The Rainmaker, 1995. The Runaway Jury, 1996. The Partner, 1997. The Street Lawyer, My Favorite, 1998. The Testament, 1999. The Brethren, 2000. A Painted House, 2001. Skipping Christmas, 2001. The Summons, 2001. The King of Torts, 2003. Bleachers, 2003. The Last Juror, 2004. The Broker, 2005. Playing for Pizza, 2007. The Appeal, 2008, The Associate, 2009, The Confession, 2010, The Litigators, 2011, uh, Calico Joe, 2012, The Racketeer, 2012, Grey Mountain, 2014, The Rooster Bar, 2017, The Reckoning, 2018, The Guardian, 2019, and Sully, 2001. I'm trying to cover as much uh, territory about uh, Christian. So, so his, sorts, his short stories, Ford County published in 2009, collection of seven short stories. Blood Drive, Fetching Raymore, Fish, uh, Fish Files, Casino, Michael's Room, Quiet Haven, and Funny Boy. Uncollateral short stories, The Tumor, 2016. Partners, 2016. Witness to a Trial, 2016. Also, Grisham has audiobooks, Bleachers, uh, audio, 2013, read by Grisham, Fort County Stories, Audible, read by Grisham, 2009, Nonfiction, The Wave Dancer Benefit, a tribute to Frank Miller, 2012, The Innocent Man, Murder and Justice in a Small Town, 2005. Also, Grisham has some, as you know, adaptations. That means that these are the books that went to film. The Firm, The Pelican Brief, The Client, A Time to Kill, The Chamber, The Rainmaker, The Gingerbread Man, A Painted House, Runaway Jewelry, Mickey, Christmas with the Cranks. The Adaptation for Television, The Client, 20 episodes from 1995 to 1996, The Street Lawyer, 2003 TV Pilot, The Firm, 2011 to 2012, there are 22 episodes, one season, and The Innocent Man, which was a miniseries, consisted of six episodes. So there you have it. John Grisham, lawyer, novelist, <laughs> all around good man.
Never surrender. Never quit.